What's up people of YouTube? Got some things to tell you about in this video because lots have changed in a couple of weeks. So I've been doing videos. First up, new music. It's signed, it's sealed, it's not yet delivered to the stores, but my first release of the year is coming up, which is really awesome. It's been it's been tough selling this uh, this tune. It was at this label, then the other label. Then there was nowhere to be heard of the labels and then eventually uh, my contacts kind of touched me like hey this is the contract sign and we're going to release it this date so that's really awesome other than that it's now finally been approved and i'm going to dj less and talks this week with one of the the, the locations where i've been doing a lot so i thought it was fair just to speak with them to let them know like hey this is going to be the plans for 2024 so for now that means that i will be playing mainly at bonobo social club uh, other lounge things clubs and festivals in the future but other than that it, my schedule is going to be from february on a bit more quiet that means more studio time which is good Ugh. here it is oh yeah and also my computer failed so that's something we're going to fix today. So this is my PC. Uh, you can't see it right now, but there are some RAM sockets in here. Like these things. And one of them that's now in the computer is broken. So first step is to dismantle the PC and put a light on it because otherwise I won't see anything. Ta -da. So welcome to the inside of my PC. This one is broken. Or at least it's not working properly. And that one is. So we're going to dismantle them both. Because that's what we need to do. But I'm not going to show it to you. Because it's quite a fiddly part. And I'm, I don't like doing this stuff. Because it's a bit stressful. So see you in a bit. Swap them over. So now it's uh, time to start up. Like one of these is broken. Yeah it doesn't recognize it anymore. Moment of truth. Great news, both my sticks are working and also working properly. Hola guys, it's been a while, but I've been sick for the last couple of days and really busy. But there are some things we're going to do today just to get back in the game of making music and also upgrading the studio because with this camera the light is quite okay. You can see myself and I probably won't see that much flickering in the back when I'm rendering videos, but with my GoPro and with my webcam, which is this thing here. It kind of bugged me that there was so little lighting in here. Even though I have these white lights, they are just not bright enough. So that's something we're going to fix today. Also, have some nice dates regarding other lighting. Let's quickly turn off my other lights. Hey Google, do the lamp out. Ta-da. But if you take a look at this now. Ta-da. I've got new lighting for when I'm going to stream, where I make videos, just to have some more like lights in the back because to be honest, it was quite boring in, in the studio. So I'm trying to make it as much as a comfy home as possible so I can spend here much time. This is my new smart lighting bar thingy. I do it like this, or do it like this, or just static colors. And also on music, but I don't know how that works yet. Look how nice. I've bought two of them, but one is already broken. Which sucked. Hopefully you're going to get another one. And other than that, just good to have this place and be a bit more of a fun place to watch even when I'm doing videos from my PC. Because the back was quite plain with just this. Oh, just this black drape and nothing here. So that lighting will probably fix it just fine. Regarding those black, yeah, what is it, dots? Oh, by the way, just take a look at this. New jacket that I got from my bookies agency. It's really fancy, right? It's really nice. Okay, I've got something new as well. My studio is still a bit of a mess, but it's much better now. Light swords. No, not exactly. So these are like bars that are your, you can use to light yourself. So the background of my videos will be much bigger. They also like <laughs> really like swords. But you can also do them like this. Good. So if I want to make a video and I want to have a close-up of my desk, oh, this is a bit <laughs> hard to show like this. I can use it as well. I'm completely in the dark now. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, you see it already. Like how much of a lightning. Oh, 
That's something I need to make sure that's not doing. But just just look when I'm. It's way too bright now. But this is just like one of the lower standard. And I can also like change the color of it, like make it more yellow lighting. And I can also make it even more bright. It's not nice to look at. But just see how much lighting there comes from. So I'm really happy with that. Because it just makes my life a bit easier. And I can also make like new videos and have just proper lighting so that I can see my pale self. And also make sure all these really nasty drops are not showing anymore. So now we're going to get real busy. Also don't mind the cable mess because I still need to do cable management. You want to see how bad it is? It's really, it's really bad. It's really, really, really bad. You can see it here as well. I think I have over like two or three kilometers in wires here. But look at this. It's such a mess. And I know, but I just keep buying stuff and then I'm like, yeah, we'll do it in the end. But I'm going to do it after this. So first up, let's put this box out. Let's make a real small time lapse to fix it. And let's get started with turning my studio into a full video live stream room. How do you call it? Hock in Dutch we say. Time to get going. I'm really excited. Just this, this is going to be the place where I want to spend so much time. And I already wanted to. But just like having this and then the other lamp that will be fixed. It's just going to be a very nice place just to chill and make music. Let's get the GoPro so I can make a time lapse. Let's get busy. Let's go. Ta-da! They're now mounted. Next up is to combine them and what I've done already is that I'm going to put them behind this switch. So whenever I'm in the next time I just want to have it on. But I do it like this. So let's look at the facts. Look at that model. Professional Studio Lightning Kit. And also it's for perfect for video studio, product shoots, model portraits, YouTuber wedding etc. So. The last thing to do is hook them up. I already have my newly cable box here that I can add to that. And other than that, I think we're on to a good start. The only thing is that I now need to crawl behind the depths of my studio, which is like here. That is normally not an issue. However, the only way I can, I can go down there is just by laying on the ground and just doing it like this because of my studio speakers there. So I'm just basically here lying like a mechanic on the ground. Just hoping that this will be quick and easy. But we'll see. It's so cozy in here. I need to stand up because this cable is welcome in my life as a YouTuber. Let's take a look. For the effort of doing it like making sure the cable's ready here. I just have this one here in the ground. Oh, okay. It's quite, well, it's quite easy. Hopefully that doesn't throw anything off. Still looks okay. Okay, back to the climbing part. So, last thing to do now is make sure this is plugged in. Well, I think this is this is the one I'm searching for. Yeah, good. So, last thing is to that's one. That's two. Uh, let's do it like this. Oh. So, now it's time for the big test. So I think what we still need to do is turn this thing. And now, test number two.
The only problem with this is that you, if I'm going to replicate it at one side, I need to do it at the other. Just put it like on full white. Is this full white? Yeah, this is full white. Okay, let's do the other one as well. You see how much lighting it already generates, like on the top as well. Probably have to do some more acoustic treatment there as well. Let's open OBS. Really, I look really pale right now. And even with the lights like on, you see so much difference. I think the, the drops in the back are still going to be there, but just that's just because of the size of the camera. But it just gives so much more like in depth to my face. So what I did in most cases now is just turn the lights white so I have this back background. But if I'm going to say for example <laughs> on music for the roof, let's do it on music. So you probably will see it like this and then it will go well. Oh, oh. But now even though when I have these lights on you just see my face like pale so I can just use that. If I'm doing it like this my face is not going to be bright. And this is just really annoying. So I will probably use this when I'm going to make music because then it's more like a static thing. Now it happens to be acting on my voice, which is nice. Really happy with the result. So now I have this really nice ambience of colors and you'll still see my face like in a proper glow. It feels a bit spoiled to say, but I'm just so happy. I'm just like this kid in the candy store. My studio was always really nice like with space, but Look at this! See my face! See how these colors are coming up! If I do it like this, you will see this this like blue, what's it called, smurf, uh, Oompa Loompa guy. And if I do it like this, you just see a good face and you see the logo of my Bruce company. Give him a shout out on... Go follow them on Instagram, it's at BPMMEF, which stands for Media and Entertainment Facilities. They are my bookings agency, which gives me all my bookings in, in Zwolle. And other places as well. So if you see me DJing at Bonobo Social Club, that's it. Oh, it's so nice. It, fe it feels so stupid to say, but uh, <laughs> I'm so happy. And also I could just, the background is much better now. I probably will have another one when it's fixed in the other corner as well. It just happens to be like this livelihood space where I can stream, can do stuff. Now I have the feeling that everything I do is in, is just like a standard. It has been a couple of days, but we got some new tools arriving. First up, we got ourselves a new LED strip, like the one in the corner here. That one, it's a bit dark to see, but this one is now also in the other corner. So besides that, we got some smaller things. This is a cold shoe, which is for videos to mount stuff on. This is like a nice part to have. Also, bought myself some new connection pieces for all my video gear. Which is nice, as I have now a retractable mount, I bought myself a new cable, which is manufactured by Dong Guang Zhishong Huan Di Yang Zhong Qing Gong Zhi. That's a nice word for Scrabble. And I'm not just making it up, I don't know if you can see it. Take a look at that. The address is uh, Gongdongsheng Dong Gongishi Humanjen Ching Kong Yik Pulongu Shiru Asiru Sului. Yeah. You know where to buy these parts now. And last but not least, I bought myself a new mount for behind the PC for this camera that I have here. Because the webcam is just sometimes a bit too dark. Because of the small uh, small lens, so I thought, well, maybe I would need to have something that I can mount just like very easily behind my desk, so that I can use that camera as well. Because yeah, the quality is just way better. I should do it here, but that's not possible. So now you will see that you have a much brighter view instead of like the camera, and I'm still like. Zooming up very nicely. And last but not least is another one. But this one is a bit special. As I can use this one as well. As I now have this some kind of camera boom which I can just like make close-ups of. So whenever I have my um, my GoPro I can just use this 
and it all yeah it's just much easier to make a close up view about it so that's the last part of like all the updates that's it so now I'm really ready to make a lot of new videos because this one I can put on the DJ set as well which is really awesome so for now I wish you all a very great day if you like this video make sure to subscribe also take a look at my other videos if you want to know more about DJing or producers see you in the other one ciao Thank you.